Hey, Morning. welcome. Long time no see. Man, Dad's with Coffee is back. It's a different day. It's a different... Literally, we can say, it's a new day. It is a new day. <laughs> it's a new day. <laughs> Thursdays don't work anymore, but no. Wednesdays are... Tell us why Thursdays don't work anymore, well, Keith. Well, see, I'm, a, I'm an Amazonian now. Amazonian. Amazonian. That's what they call us, Amazonians. And I finally am going to my new shift starting today. I'm going at noon today. It's like bank. It's it's better than banker's hours uh, on this day. Yeah, then it's six to six. It's only half days. I mean, who doesn't want to work half days? Six to six, half days, whatever. <clears throat> it's all a mindset. It is. It is. It's all a mindset. But uh, but you get Sunday, Monday, Tuesday off, and and the morning of Wednesday, all, all morning Wednesday. So and you only work half a day on Wednesday, so. It's not bad. It's not bad. Not, not bad. Not bad. We took a long time getting to As, this moment. I mean, <laughs> when did we start? July 18th? Yeah, you did eight to five for a while. What's today? September 7th? Yes. Happy birthday Sunday, by the way. Thank you. Thank you. I missed that. Big 52. 5-2. Five 5-2. Two. Five two. See, I remember distinctly, distinctly, my mom's 55th birthday. Oh, really? Wait, for whatever reason, we had a big blowout and had... There's a sign out Double front. Double nickels. Yeah. Sign out front. Mom can't drive 55. Uh, yeah, right. Because back then, the back speed then limit the, was 55. Well, and the song came out. Let's see. Mom, that would have been 1990. I, I can't drive 55. Semi Hagar, man. Yeah. The throwback right there. Yeah. I don't know why that sticks out to me, but that seems like the only real birthday we celebrated for mom was her 55th birthday. <laughs> 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 I, I could be wrong. Uh we have audio. I don't see anybody on yet. Nobody's tracking us. Nobody's tracing. Nobody said hi. Two viewers. They're there. Probably uh, <clears throat> Amy and your sister. Probably. Probably. They were very excited about us being back. Yeah, me too. I was, I was, hey, I appreciate uh, the ones that filled in a couple of times while you were gone. Yeah, saw Greg on here. Greg was on here. Talking. Uh, yeah. Talking. Philip was on football. here. Uh, Talking all things financial and stuff, so I didn't get to watch many of them. Uh, I can only imagine. Most of the times, I was either leaving work. I did watch some days when I was coming home from work. Uh, oh, there's our first comment on our new day. It's Becca. Oh, hey. Becca. She should be working. She is right? working. She is working. She is working. She's yes. listening to us on the side. You can do anything in the background. If you can't multitask in today's world, you're going to struggle keeping up. You're going to struggle. I was. I don't know who I was talking to. Oh, it was at staffing the other day, and someone said, "I, I can't multitask." I said, "I can't not multitask." Right. I can't do one thing at a time. I can't. I my <laughs> mind is so crazy. That's part of the problem at work because. You're either going 100 miles an hour, or you're not going at all. Right. Feels like you're going backwards. You're right. So you have to find something to keep your mind busy. So I just pick up a broom and start sweeping. <laughs> there's, I mean, you can imagine in a box factory where there's nothing but boxes going through, how much dust is in the air. Oh, I'm sure a lot. I sneeze half a dozen times as soon as I walk in the I room. was wondering if how's that working for you. Oh, it's awful. Is it it's uh, awful? Yeah. So, uh, is it better or worse than mountain cedar season? Oh, it's better. Mountain cedar season is a. You said we were going to talk about all things fall, <laughs> and I'm prepared to speak because my eyes have started turning red. You guess, know, guess what time it is, y'all? It's, it's fall, it's, y'all. It's football season and mountain cedar season. Uh, so I didn't. <clears throat> I, I hadn't uh, really thought about fall until I saw this. I mean, everybody knows. Official fall starts this month. Yeah, 22nd, right? Uh, 21, 22, yeah. 23, sometimes it just depends on when the equinox is. Yeah. That's that's official fall. However... I mean, in Texas, it's just like late summer. Right, it's just summer number three. <laughs> uh, but I, I saw a deal the other day on September 1, which was my son's birthday. Happy birthday to him. He was 21 on, sun, on on that day. Then it says it's meteorological fall. That from a weather forecaster's position, September 1 is when fall fall starts for them. Now, I know official fall, equinox-wise, is later this month, but meteorological fall 
is September 1. So have your pumpkin spice if that's what you like. Um, get out the spooky stuff if you're in Halloween. And, um, uh, and I, you know, being that Labor Day weekend was this last yeah. weekend, that has, the, that's traditionally the, end, the of end of summer, which means fall has to begin. Right. It so, only makes sense. So fall began yesterday, if you look at it from a holiday perspective. From a weather forecaster, it started, you know, last Thursday. I wear long sleeves year-round, so it's always fall right. for me. it doesn't matter. It's always fall for me. But, yeah, with fall comes certain things, you know. Back to school. Yeah. Back to You know, football. and I guess I, I always, you know, because it's called the fall semester. Right. It's like, so whenever school starts, in my mind, that's... Here we are. The, the, it's the fall season, and it may be 104. We don't go to school in winter, then. We have a winter break. Yeah, I know. We have a winter break, <laughs> and then a spring semester. a fall semester. semester and a spring semester. Right, right. Unless you're in quarters, and then that's a whole different thing, but we're not that way in high school. No, we're not. In the school systems, and in most college systems, where it's a fall it's semester, a semester, spring yeah. semester. You have a winter break, and then a summer break. The winter break is not as healthy as the summer break. No. I kind of wish. I'm, I'm kind of a year-round school guy. I went to school when, we, when I was growing <clears throat> up in California, before we moved to Kentucky. Um, we were in what they called the 45-15, which was 45 days of school, so nine weeks on, three weeks off. Nine weeks on, three weeks off. And we'd get about six weeks off in the summer. Yeah. Uh, but that three-week break in uh, late September to early October, mm -hmm. it was kind of nice. Yeah. Then you go nine weeks, you had three weeks off at Christmas. You almost feel like a homeschooler. Uh, so anyway, I'm, <laughs> I'm not. don't drag me down your road. Come on, man. I'm throwing, I'm throwing don't data. Don't drag me down your road. <laughs> uh, but, uh, yeah, I enjoyed that. So I, I had to. I think you, you, you have less... Uh, Retention loss, from I think over the summer, yeah, yeah. I mean, you yeah. when you go twelve, thirteen weeks without any schooling, right? Because they don't do anything the last two weeks of school, yeah, right. And they rarely do much the first week of school, so you just tacked on three weeks on top of a ten week summer break. You just roll people in. You can roll them in at any time. School starts. Yeah. Whatever. Oh yeah. So Maybe we should lobby for that. It was different, you know. So when we moved to Kentucky, it was it was moving from from urban to mm. rural. Yeah, in the field because in that area of the world that was they they went along with the harvest season schedule, yep. which we do here too. But uh, I don't know. I, I think that there might be some value to to reconsidering. Reconsidering okay. that. So, which is better, fall or spring? For what perspective? It doesn't matter. You have to choose. I have to choose? Yeah. Um, if, you could, if you could have one season or one time of year. Of the four or just those two? You can have all four, but no one's going to choose Texas summers. No. No, I call baseball in this heat. I don't care for the summer much 100, anymore. 105 degrees in full gear is not fun. It's not fun. It's <clears> not <throat> fun. Um, gosh. I'd probably have to say fall. Me too. Because I like college football. I'm a big fan. So I, <clears> I, I, I like, like all things football. I was at football last night. Yeah, right. Now I'll be at football tomorrow night. <clears throat> uh, and so I, I like football. And I like watching college football. Um, on the flip side, I I enjoy watching college softball, and so that's a spring sport. But if I had to choose, I'll probably choose fall. Me too. I guess because I enjoy winter, I don't mind the cold. I mean, and I lived the in the cold. Amarillo. Never bothered you anyway. No, it didn't. Let it go. Um, <laughs> I <laughs> I've never even seen the movie. Yeah. Uh, Can you believe that? I mean, I lived in northern Oklahoma, and I lived out in Amarillo, so I understand cold. Oh yeah, I understand cold. I didn't mind the winter. I, I never have. I never have cared. I, I like the winter. Uh, but see, so, winter here for us. Oh, it's just. It's just. Yeah. It gets. You know, the humidity stays hot. It's fall light, and so it's. 
When it gets cold, yeah. it gets biting cold. It does, but still. Like I, mean, I, can I rarely remember, wear a jacket around here. I can remember growing up in Missouri. It got cold. We but, had lots of snow. Yeah. And I didn't seem as cold as what I feel here. Maybe it's because I'm old. Well, I do I do think that our that uh our blood is slower than it used to be and we we have more issues, it's more possible. aches and pains with the cold well, than we used to be. I don't want to be. believe that though. I don't want to believe that. Um I'm as but, young as you know, I want to be. Fall is the is the reprieve from the summer. Right. The the spring it's like okay, I don't mind winter. But if, if people don't like winter, they're going to choose spring. See, I because like spring is exiting winter. Yeah, I like spring because of baseball. Well, fall also means that Christmas is coming. Yeah, you guys do Christmas like, well, like the Griswolds. Yeah, pretty much, without the lights. Without the outdoor lights, yes. I actually thought about doing outdoor lights this year, but I don't know. I don't know. You don't we'll have see. your helpers at home anymore, so <laughs> no, I do. I do not. I don't have them, and so how's uh, how's empty nesting going? Uh, it's going really well. Yeah, yeah. It, you know, uh, it, it's kind of like we've prepared for this day. Yeah, you know, uh, and it. I don't know. We've joked about it a little bit. Um, we were coming home from from Stillwater uh, Monday, and we were talking about. You know, it was my birthday, and so she's like, "Do you want to go out to eat?" And I said, "That'll be." I said, "That's fine." Where do you want to go? And I'm like, "I don't know." And got to, you know, we were thinking about going to this one place. I'm like, "I don't want to drive all the way over there." And and I got to thinking, "What else do we have to do?" <laughs> I got nowhere to be. I have no. I mean, and not that we had a reason we had to be home for the last two years. Once driver's licenses were right. attained, it's just like we were partial empty nesters already. And so, um, but yeah, we've joked about it, but it's, uh, you know. It's, we haven't had that going with, well. with Evan yet. You no. Know, being the last year, he's always home for dinner. Uh, it's, of course, it's right after football. They get out of football later now. Yeah. So he comes home, showers, eats, and we have another, we have another senior this year. Yes, yes. We have two seniors this year. If you don't know that story, hit me up. I'll let you know all about it. Right. Um, a different story for a different time and place. But uh, that's right. Yeah, we have a we have a the Warren House for Wayward Boys is has has it's back in business. Gotten one more. It's back in business. <clears throat> so we still have three boys in the house. It's kind of nice. Keelan. Oh, okay. Yeah. He's still with you. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> What would I do if I didn't have kids in my house? I don't know what I don't know what you would do. I don't know I mean I'm fixing to find out, I guess. Yeah. Sooner or later it's gonna be that way. So what uh so which would you pick, fall or spring? If I had to choose one Which you made me choose one. I did. <laughs> See, I hate both fall and spring because they both bring mountain cedar. And I don't know how mountain cedar blooms twice. Uh it's just a weird animal. Well, as it dies, it spreads spores, and uh, as it comes back, it. I've never really looked into spreads why pollen. the uh, the most hated tree on the planet hates me, and and why it gives me so many fits. I hate mountain cedar. I never knew of mountain cedar <laughs> until I moved to Texas. Yeah, it's not up in Missouri. Uh, we don't. It wasn't in New Orleans, and it wasn't over we in don't DC. Have this kind of stuff where I'm from, right? All the places you've been, it wasn't. <clears throat> I I never once had an allergy in my life until I moved to Texas, of all places. Now you have mountain cedar, where your eyes are swollen my shut. My face for six swells months, shut for six months a year. Yeah, man, he'll come. He comes in, and it's just you know my I eyes, can know exactly what's wrong with my him. eyes. Look like this guy's shirt. Yeah, it's just red and bloodshot. Oh yeah, you'd think I'd been out honky tonk doing, doing other things, honky tonking, if you will. Is that your good Texas yeah. name for it? Yeah, okay. we have Billy Bob, the biggest honky tonk yeah, in the world. Right, right. I don't know if it's the biggest anymore. Somebody look it up. Uh, I would probably know. choose fall as well. Um, I enjoy the fall sports. Right. They still play baseball in the fall. Yeah, it still's odd to me. At least up until October. Right. Speaking of which, are they are they uh, 
having umpires for fall baseball this year? They are. Uh, I'm not, but they are. Uh, I'm I'm full up on football, so um, you know, I've got enough going on with that that I don't want to add to my add to my situation. Marcus had his first uh, football games of the season last night. They won the uh, B team game, twenty to eight, and I oh know twenty to two. No, they scored late, twenty to eight. In the A team game, forty seven to nothing. Oh wow! Yeah, who would they play? They played another Crowley team. Okay, which will go unnamed. Yeah. If yeah. you look at their schedule, you can see H. Fain Stevens. Yeah, I have I have Stevens coming up. Actually, I have Stevens. Seventh grade or eighth grade? Uh, seventh grade next Tuesday, actually. Mm. Uh, yeah. Mm. In fact, they just canceled the C game. Yeah, neither team had a C team. Yeah, coming up, coming up. This so the, Lynn the folks, next two the next two weeks they've canceled C games. I guess Alito doesn't have a C game, a C team. Probably not. Yeah, not I don't maybe. know how Alito doesn't have C teams. That's what I'm saying. But they canceled them. Alito's got more kids playing football. I just got I just got the notification before you got in here. The C game was seventh grade C was canceled. The 13th and the 20th. It was probably because the Crowley schools don't have C teams. Right. Not quite enough down at that level. Yeah. They'll pick up C team games against each other. And they have two middle schools, and they'll both have C teams. And I'll be at the Crowley Auxiliary Field, which I guess is this it's one. It's the grass field. It, it's, 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 uh, oh, it's the grass field. It's the grass field. Yeah. Hey, the new stadium's opening. It sure is. It opens tomorrow night. Uh, I'll I be thought, there. It does it open tomorrow night. It I, does. North I, Crowley plays in it tomorrow night. I thought they. I thought they weren't opening till the next week with They're North Crowley. They're opening this week. So they got done early, or yep. I just counted wrong. No, I think they got done early. Uh, so there's North no Crowley, road system into there, so I'm not sure how people are going to drive uh, in. There's one way in. I know. So I'm saying it's off a of rising. They got. Yeah, on this side, rising or on our side, not even rising in front of the highway. You can't even get there from the highway. They got the highway. De- they got rising or destroyed up by thirty-five. They just got it fixed with the so, light. So uh, everybody's gonna have to drive around because they're supposed to have an entrance. They're building an entrance, which is just a mud scene right now. I haven't off of Crowley Road. Mile. The Cro- Crowley and Crowley Cleburne. Yeah, is supposed to extend and go into the state. Oh, it's a. It's a mess. Yeah, next to the admin building. You, you need to get your four wheel drive and off road a little if you want to get in that way. I haven't. I haven't been pie in a while. At least I. I have been. No, I haven't. Because I would go out thirty five when I would leave at eleven o'clock at night to yeah. go to work. But they got that all torn up, huh? Rising. Yeah, rising is destroyed. You can't. You. Sh- you shall not pass. I mean, it's probably a. Uh, it's probably a forty foot chunk of road that's just not there. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I mean, they just built all those all those new buildings out there. People are going to be upset. Uh, yeah, with the brand new Amazon building out there, or whatever it is that's out there. Well, the Amazon building's up the closer to everyone. Well, there's one at. Uh, it's actually it's whatever Dalmer. that business whatever that business building is. It's Dalmer. They make like wrestling mats. Okay. Friend, friend of mine works there. Cool. Yeah, they're actually moving from where they're at. To here, they just got to get all the equipment up and running. But as soon as they get a roadway, well, it's supposed to be in June, and it's not done yet. Well, they've destroyed the road. They have no access to thirty five right now. I don't understand. That's timing th- situations. I Thanks, Text Dot. I, I don't uh, completely understand that all the time. So, so, but uh, no, fall is uh, always an interesting time. Um, What's a? It's a new. It, it almost feels like a new year, you know. It, it is, and and for for those that have, if you don't have kids, or if you're not acquainted with the school system in any capacity, then September is no big deal to you. But if you had kids, uh, or you're acquainted, or you, you still have them in, sc- I mean, so it is. This is, you know, it's the new school year. Yeah, and in 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 a lot of ways. Um, I know for I've done research on this for the church. There are two huge times of emphasis uh, of possibility for new. You know, you always think of January and sure. people making the new resolutions and going, "Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna commit. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna be there." But a great and a grand opportunity always lies in September. I, I've noticed over the years, the highest rate of visitors and the highest rate of of new members. Mm-hmm 
happens in September and January uh, because September is a new year for a lot of it's people. New routines. It's it's moving into a new location. It's yeah. A lot of times with summer being that new that uh, we we move we change houses in the summer. So many people do, right. or they got a new job, or they transferred, or whatever. They did it over the summer because of the kids. Right. So now they're in a new school system. I've noticed on Crowley Talk. Uh, so many different people who yeah. just moved here. Um, who go, who where do y'all go to church? church? Yeah. Who just moved here looking for a Baptist church? Moved here looking for a church? Just moved here. Where do you you know? And good uh, job, FBC Crowley folks. Absolutely. I've, I've seen our I've seen our uh, our we, name pop up multiple we, times. We've got we got to stay on that, and uh, that is an outreach tool. I mean, it is. Social it media is. is an outreach tool because that's the first place people are going to go. I have resurrected the FBC Crowley Twitter account. <laughs> yeah, I see that uh, and. Uh, putting a lot of things out there. So share it. If you're not on Twitter, get on Twitter. Follow us. The way uh, algorithms work, the more... The more shares, the better it, the, the better it is. And the more the more apt it is to show up on someone else's page. Right. Just because of location and geography. Just, but you got to share it. One of the things I like and dislike about Twitter is that if I like something, the people that, that I'm friends with will see that I've liked something. Right. Now I have some friends that I don't want to see what they like. Right. So I kind of have to mute them. Right. Uh, but you can do that with, I'd still be friends. Yes, you can do that and still be friends. Uh, I can still. I can block them and still be friends with them. Right. And so. Been you know, there. I don't. We don't all share the same right. beliefs. Right. 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 Uh, I, I hang around with a lot of, of football people and uh, they're not all church people. No. You know. You know, but they all need Jesus. They all need Jesus. That's right. And so. While I, I won't interact with those posts, I will. Right. I'll, I'll see them pop up on my posts. Sure. Whenever. And that's the algorithm. That's the whole. You have to work the system. Yeah, you do. Work the system. If the and, you know instead of just saying, well, I don't want to deal with that at all. Work the system. Yeah, it's kind of like you know, share dads with coffee. So yeah, or, sure. or like like dads with coffee. Share with dads with coffee. <laughs> Hit that share button and put it out there on yours because it just it gets it out there. Uh, or or our FBC Crowley page, share that or like something, or whether it's on Facebook or Twitter or Instagram, uh, or even YouTube, and the YouTube. It all works on an, on an algorithm that is simply based on how many people are liking or sharing. You can watch it, and 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 I appreciate that you have watched it and you enjoyed it, but if you don't press like. And if you don't press send or you don't send a heart or whatever, then it's not it's not helping the greater cause right. of getting the word out and getting the message out. Because you liking it or, or sharing it or loving it or whatever um, produce you know kicks that algorithm into okay. Well, if you did, then maybe these six friends over here right. that have your similar likes. They'll like it too. Yeah, these people have liked what you liked, so maybe they'll like this too. Right. So let me just pop that. And on so their we page. we pop it on their page, and it comes up as, in their feeds as, as top feeds, top things to look at, and it it just it I'm helps. Not a, I'm not a huge fan of the way they do things. I kind of like, no. I'd rather just see. I I, I know you'd, chronologically. You'd rather go back to the original Facebook system, but this is where we are, and. Um, you know, it's it's kind of like those who love summer and don't like fall. Too bad. Here it is. Change or die. You know, it reminds me of TikTok. And when you first when you first get a TikTok, all you see is the stupid dances. Right. But if you'll just scroll past those real quick. Yeah, don't sit and watch them. You don't see them. Because if you watch the whole thing, yeah. you get 400 more of back. them. Mm -hmm. Soon enough, you'll end up on barbecue TikTok. Yes. And you'll end up on slow cooker. Grill TikTok. Nation is I love Grill and Nation. You'll, you'll end up you'll end up seeing things that you truly want to see. I've get, I've gotten so many recipes from TikTok. This weekend I I am I am really considering doing the poor man burnt ends. I did Have you seen that? I've done them. They're delicious. Yeah. They're I did <laughs> I did pork How many shoulder. of you knew that we would end up on food at some point? I, yeah, I have to. We're Baptists, right? <laughs> and dads. I did pork shoulder burn ends this weekend. Oh, okay. Oh, Instead of the chuck roast? Oh, Atlanta. Instead yeah, of the chuck roast? What chuck roast? They're like 24 bucks for two fat hogs. Of? Uh, chuck roast. Yeah. And then get your pork shoulder too. You can cook them at the same time. Right. So it was simple. I did a pork shoulder. You cook the 170. Slice it one-inch cubes. 
put it in a pan, brown sugar, yep. barbecue sauce, a little butter, put it back in. It was... No wrapping it? No. You don't want to wrap it because uh, it keeps all the moisture and you want it to dry out because that's the burning portion. I see. Yeah. Now, if I were going to do a, a pulled pork, yeah, I would wrap it. Yeah. I actually did... I did four pork shoulders this weekend. I did two... It was of, a big weekend. I did two... Uh, yeah, Marcus and Lex had everybody over and we had... We had pork shoulder. But yeah. And what's a Warren gathering without, without uh, pork shoulder? Copious amounts of food. <laughs> uh, yeah, I pulled two and then I then I uh, cubed two. And they were so So the shoulder worked have you done it roast chuck roast two? I have done chuck roast two. Which did you like better? For the burn ends? Well, see I did the shoulder better than I did the chuck roast, so Okay, meaning what? You cooked it better? Yeah, did I, did it better? A, I did a better job on it. Okay, okay. The, Do you use mustard as a, as your binder? I don't. I don't use a binder. You don't use a binder? No. That's the big thing is to use the binder. No, I do... I don't know if anybody else does this. I do rinse my meat. Okay, so it's wet, so it's kind of a binder. I, I rinse it, but then I have to pat it dry. And then I use no binder because I think the... the if you're not afraid to season the right. meat and then also pat it in yeah it's gonna stick uh it oh does. yeah i don't yeah i don't use a binder i've never used a binder i've tried um, it and i mean i've seen pros and cons of both yeah um yeah i've done it with and without i i'm not i use enough seasoning and i make sure it's in the meat well yes. enough that i don't yes if you massage it in properly you shouldn't have a problem right right but you got you got to be ready to get you dirty. Got, you got to get your, well, or get some gloves. Or get some gloves. I have you yeah. Know, gloves are cheap. Yeah. You get those nitrile gloves. Yeah, but it's got to be black. Is it nitrile, 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 whatever it is. I think it's nitrile. I use those. Yeah. yeah. And they keep my hands. I'm mean, gonna go through six pairs each time I cook something. But right, because because they get dirty, you don't want to transfer. You don't wash gloves, do you? You don't want to transfer you wash gloves. Well, you can, just like you'd wash your hands. You just don't want it under your fingernails. and Yeah, because that's disgusting. Yes. That's that's why you would do it. So, also, I don't know if you've tried the meatloaf yet, but mm -mm. fire up your smoker and put the meatloaf on it. It's phenomenal. Oh, Marcus did some cream cheese this weekend. Cream cheese with cinnamon and sugar and then just any pie filling on a graham cracker. <laughs> oh, a, yeah. Yeah, that's it's a, it's good. That's a that's a poor man's cheesecake. Right there. <laughs> poor man's cheesecake. It was it was incredible. I never had it like that before. I mean, it doesn't have the the sugar. It still has a little bite to it. Sure. I don't mind yeah. the bite though. I don't either. I don't either. I'm a big cream cheese fan. I am too. I am too. Although, again, if you get on TikTok and you get on recipe TikTok or whatever TikTok, there's a lot of people that use cream cheese in every dish that they make. I can't have that much cream cheese in my life. <laughs> right. Every meal doesn't need cream cheese. No, no. Every meal does not. I don't want cream cheese in my pasta. Okay? Are they just trying to make it creamier? I guess. Try some ricotta. Right. Uh -huh. Even cottage cheese. Branch out. Yeah. Branch out. No, let's just throw a block of Philly in it and hope it turns out okay. Oh, no. No, not everything eats cream cheese in it. No, I don't think so either. I don't think so either. Cream so. cheese is a dessert spread. You put it on your bagel. Right. <laughs> oh, my phone's blowing up here. What's going on with you? I got, well, I went to the doctor Monday. Had my annual physical. Laura, I'll let you know that I let my doctor know about our grandfather, and she is uh, scheduling the test. I'm, I'm 50 next year, if you know what the test is. I know what the test yeah. is. I've had that test. I'm not looking forward to it, but it's a... It's not that bad. I just don't look forward to the prep. The prep is the worst part of that particular the procedure. The rest of the time you're asleep, so it doesn't really matter. Well, until you wake up. Well, sure. And then, and then you, you know something's happened. Of course, you're bloated. Yeah, among <laughs> other things. But the prep is the worst part of it. It's the worst part of it. I'm telling you. And then I have, uh, as you may know, I have back issues. So my, my doctor's texting me right now. Hey, we got your referrals. We need you to get this, 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 and this done. Got to get an MRI. Got to go to ortho. Got to go blah, right. blah, 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 blah. I'm tired of dealing with my back. 
Yep. But it's a never-ending saga. It is. Once you get down a certain path, it's hard to get off of that. And now that I'm walking six miles a day, right? just for fun. <laughs> right. <laughs> just for fun. Just for fun. Walking around a warehouse, which is... Hey, pro tip. Half a million Schedule million that particular procedure in the late afternoon. Yeah. Um, otherwise, you are you don't sleep all night oh, true. because of the prep. True. So if you will schedule it, in the, a lot of times they want to do it like 6 o'clock in the morning, which is like, okay, so I didn't sleep all night because of the prep. But if you do it late afternoon, then you get to sleep the night before. And you're busy all day. But it's at least better than being busy all night. Well, you got to time that out just almost perfectly, though. I did a four o'clock. It was beautiful. I had to. I had to. I had to drink the juice at like six in the morning, which I was already up anyway. But then I. But I got to sleep overnight. It was great. And then you go home and you just go back to bed. Yes. Pro tip. Consider it noted. Because you you get home. You have a four o'clock in the afternoon. You're home by six. You eat some supper. You lay around in the evening. You go to bed, uh, a little, maybe a little early, and you you go back to sleep. And it's just better than because if you have to be up all night, yeah, then you're exhausted. Well, you know how it is. I do. You've been doing the overnights. Not do. fun. I do. Yeah, I didn't realize how much you can get accomplished on three hours of sleep a day. Well, it does give you 21 hours to do stuff. Yeah, yeah, sure does. Not sure how the quality of that it's stuff not, is. It's not very good. <laughs> it's not very good. Not very safe either. No, I, that. that drive home is not safe. That's not. I would get home from work around 10, 10.30. Yeah. And I'd just go straight to bed. Without fail. Every day. 12.34. Phone rings. Something happens. Doorbell. And I'm up at 12. Every It, it, it was drop off. Three out of five days, I'm up at 12. Evan comes home for a snack. No, he doesn't come home. He goes to his buddy's house. 12.34. And two hours in, and that's all you got? And that's it. That's it. You're up then. You can't go back. Uh-uh. No, not in the daytime. You needed earplugs and a sleep mask. <sighs> yeah, I or blackout curtains, but I wasn't going to spend any money on No, weeks. but ear, but... Sleep mask and earplugs are nine dollar investment. But I want to be able to wake up eventually. Well, you you get up, you set your alarm on your watch or something. You don't wear a watch. I don't wear a watch. I have a phone to tell me what time it is. Yeah. Because if I had a watch, I'd be constantly looking at it because notifications come in all day long. You you can set those that don't so they don't, and only the important things come through. It's all important, Aaron. No, it's not. <laughs> Not everything is of equal importance. That's, I agree. <laughs> so, that's yeah. that's why when I go to silent, notification silenced, the other day, um, Isabella um, tried to call and did, couldn't get us and finally called Dulce, I don't know, anyway, got a hold of us. Said, What's wrong? Well, Dulce wasn't feeling good, so we just went to bed early. Well, I... My watch, you know, went to notification silence, and I didn't realize that you could set specific people yeah, to, to automatically come through. And so I went back in and set the family. Uh, there's only only those three. Only family gets to automatically right. come through. Yeah, your emergency uh, contacts. Yeah. So Bella's like, yeah. I, she goes, I've set it so that even if I have it silenced, it still comes through for you. Yeah. I'm like. As it should. As when, it should. When you pay your own bills, you can choose what you want to do. You still want to talk to your dad. Well, yes, yes. When she pays her own phone bill, she can come off the tracking system. But as long as I'm paying the phone bill, she stays on the tracking system. Why does she just find my She doesn't phone? like it, but that's too bad. It's a safety feature. It is. It's not tracking so much as I want to make sure you're safe because if... I can't get a hold of you, and I notice that you are somewhere odd. The sheriff's going to get a call. I need, wee, I need wee. to make sure we're safe. <laughs> it's a dad thing. I need to make sure you're safe. She stopped arguing with me about it after that. It's it is. It's it made a, sense to her then. We're just trying to take care of our kids. That's all we're trying to do. 
All right, well. And it doesn't end, even when they're 27 years old. No, I know. I Marcus know. called me last night. Hey, Dad, are you at home? Yeah. Is there any of that pulled pork left? <laughs> I was like, yeah, but I don't have any buns. Dang it. Well, I'll bring buns. Can you bring me some food? They didn't. This was before his game last night. <laughs> they didn't feed him? They go, There's five coaches. They brought four meals. Because he's not on campus. They forgot about him. Yeah. So... He had spicy chicken tenders. Hopefully that won't happen again. Hopefully not. Hopefully not. Or I have a little bit more than 22 minutes to get him something to eat. <laughs> well, it's been great All being right. back. Yep. We'll be back every Wednesday Every now. Wednesday. Set Wednesdays your... at 9. So set your alarm, set your clock, set your notifications. Like us, follow us, share us, and we will... Uh... Tell a friend. Tell a phone. That's right. Don't finish that. Don't finish that. Love you guys. <laughs> See ya. <laughs>